It's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is International Tennis Open. Use one of these options. Oh, shut up. International Tennis Open. On the Philips CDI, this would appear to be a French game because it's speaking with a French accent. I have never played it before. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to be appalling. Ugh. I don't know anything about tennis, but I do like tennis games. So, uh... This should be amusing. What's going on? Yeah. We'll play on grass. I am just making. I, I don't know what buttons I'm meant to. Glad to have you with us for these pre-series matches. You tennis fans out there will be as interested as I am. Shut today. up. The bulldozer. That's what they're calling Garrett these I days. I don't care. I don't want to play with a bulldozer, a rhinoceros, or a Sherman tank. I want to play tennis. The player is going to serve first, and the match is about to start. The player. Okay, I am the player. What button? Oh. This is not entirely intuitive. Oh. Crap. Also, I don't know how familiar you are with the, with the CDI remote, but it's not... Yeah, oh, that's no good. Yeah. Oh. I'm playing with this. You probably can't see it. It's, it's a stupid thing. It works on infrared instead of Bluetooth, like a decent remote control controller would. And, uh,. To say it's not responsive is an understatement. That's going to go out. Oh. Oh, oh, you bugger. Yeah, I'm shite. What do you expect? Love, 40. A great point for Garrett. So, yeah, the, uh... That's not going to be good either. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Yay. It's difficult, but it, it I think it's probably worth persevering with. And Garrett's got himself a great point here. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't bother if it weren't for the fact that I like tennis. Oh. Game Garrett. That is quite embarrassing. I mean, graphically, it's uh, not bad at all. Done it. Garrett makes the break. Hmm. Yeah, graphically, it's really quite good for the time. I mean, this is Amiga era stuff. You know, this was Fine. up against the Mega Drive and such like. So it's oh what? Ah. Straight into his feet. Never easy to return. Oh, I definitely prefer receiving than uh, serving. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't so good. Fifteen all. Oh, you bird. A perfect serve. What this game doesn't include, that it really could do with, is the option to leap over the net and savage your opponent with your racket. Because that would certainly be fun. Oh, what a terrific volley. Wrap barbed wire around your racket, jump over the net, beat him with it okay. to a bloody pulp, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He won't be happy about that first service. There would be, in these power-ups, like machine guns, so you can maybe massacre the, the audience, you know, the crowd, if they're 
If they're not cheering enough, or if they laugh when you fluff it, you should be able to throw hand grenades into the crowd. 40, we need those power-ups. Oh, you... Why? I keep running off to the right. I think the sights on my thumb are off. Must be. Well, if you blinked at the start of that game, then you probably missed the whole thing. Yeah, I wasn't blinking, I was snoring. Is this me? It is. Oh. Love 15. Yeah. Second service coming up. Now uh, that's going to fail as well. Let's hope he's not going to make a habit of it. I already did. Love, Percy. Speaking of habits, I was asked and I did answer. I have quit smoking. I'm very pleased about that. I haven't smoked for several months now. You can't ask for a final passing shot than that. And I didn't kill anyone. Came close, but... Love, 40. Oh. Did that without even trying. Ha! Ah. Fifteen forty. I mean, it is bad that I, I get excited by scoring just one point, but it's it is tricky. I think practice would help a lot here. Yeah. Practice and machine guns. That is what this needs. So, I'm not going to play any longer. I think I've lost anyway. That game could be where Garrett takes control of this set. No, that game is where I turn off the CDI. So, uh, yes. International Tennis Open on the CDI. Who is it by? Passe? I don't know who they are. Oh, it's Info Games. I was right, it is French. So, yes. Where was I? International Tennis Open on the Philips CDI by Pathé, Info Games, something like that. Um, graphically great. Gameplay is okay. It's completely let down by this stupid controller. I wasn't really able to show you very effectively that it's all it's in silhouette. You can't see it. There's no D-pad. You've got this weird rubber thing that you fit your thumb in and then rubber pads above it and down to the left and right below it. It's rubbish, is, is the best I can describe it as. It is absolutely rubbish. You can't effectively control games with it. Definitely not one-handed. It's hard enough two-handed. Um, it makes no sense whatsoever. It completely cripples your ability to play the game properly. So yes, there is a big, big problem when playing this game, but it isn't the game. Um, I think this is probably a good tennis game. It would be a lot of fun. You can get a better controller for the CDI, and I think if you're going to play this game, you absolutely must, because with this standard remote thing, you ain't got a hope in hell. So, uh, yes, I think that's a good game. Um, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Uh, my apologies for being completely inept. It wasn't entirely my fault, though, mostly, but you'll know that by now. This and videos of other retro games in my collection and a video of my console and computer collection can be found on my YouTube channel along with a link to my website retrogamingcollector.com so take a look at that if you've got nothing better to do. Thank you for watching.